Do you own a 5.56 AK platform rifle? Most likely a Zastava, am I correct? Well, you are most likely dealing with one of two things. One, it either has uh, proprietary 5.56 magazines that don't work with fucking anything else, or you bought one from Century. Specifically, one like this, the um, M90NP which in its stock configuration came with a wonderful, janky-ass plastic, I'm not even going to say polymer, that is not, there's no way in hell it's polymer, plastic magwell that just bolted right up in here and was held in place with some screws, some bullshit, and a riveted magazine release. This is not, this is the metal. We're going to get to this. Shut up and fucking wait. So, the issue with having a piece of plastic with a wiggly bit that would go through um, holding a magazine in place was that over time the it, there was no sleeve, there's no protector, and it's riveted in place so there's no way to fix it. And the magazine release would go through the other side and it's not even just a normal magazine release like on an AR. It had like a little dinkle doink coming off the top of it, which was amazing. So, over time if you fucked up that magazine release just a little bit and the tolerance has got a little out of place uh, you could tap it on the side of the gun and the magazine would fall out because any rotational force would cause it to get away from the little uh, magazine release and it would just drop out of the gun which is an amazing amazing design Century thank you so much and when you try to reach out to Century uh, they tell you to talk to Zestava and when you talk to Zestava they tell you to talk to Century and we all know it was Century was the one who did it it's their fault. Fuck you. So, what's what's a boy to do? He wants his AK to shooty shoot good, but but those big mini pants they they made it so it don't shoot no good and there ain't no way to fix it. Well, all you do is you take a Dremel and you cut everything off. You cut this and that and every little rivet you can find on the bottom of it. Ignore that. Um, and then you have. A completely useless uh, gun. But then, that's where this company, Schaefer Machining, steps in. Ooh. Now, uh, there were three or four different companies that had 5.56 Magwell adapters for AKs. Um, two of them would not answer my emails. Actually, no, that's right. Uh, one of them said they had it in stock, so I emailed them to ask them questions. Like, hey, you got these in stock, can I buy it? You know, it says it's on the page, but you know, this looks old, and how many people are buying these? F fucking no one. Um, I think that one was... Seraphim Tactical. Anyways. Uh, they just responded back with an email that just said, No. And that was all they told me. They didn't have it in stock. No, like, oh, we're sorry. We're sorry for wasting your time and making you, getting your hopes up or whatever. Um, and then the other one was... Texas AK. Quick addendum, uh, I was getting all of these different whatchamacallits confused. Uh, Seraphim Tactical was actually reselling the Magwell adapter from Texas AK. The Magwell device from Texas AK was a little doodad that you would place into the Magwell of a standard 5.56 AK where it would be held in place by the uh, paddle style mag release. And this second Magwell would accept standard AK mags. So you would have two Magwells stacked on top of each other and you could either hit the little button um, and that on the side and that would release the AR mag or you could hit the paddle mag release and that would just let the whole device be removed. Uh, so that's kind of neat. Uh, this would have not worked for the AK I was working on as it uses the traditional paddle style release to hold itself in place and this one doesn't have the paddle style release on it anymore. Still pretty neat and very simple little device and you know no modification to your gun really. Um, the product I was thinking of was the Magwell Conversion Kit from Definitive Arms. Their Magwell Conversion Kit is designed to convert the traditional paddle style release AK to an AR mag system, but this would have been a big pain in the butt uh, for the rifle I was working on, as I would have had to install a lot more hardware, like uh, like a grip nut, you know, the screw would go through the grip, and also the, um, the trigger guard. Uh, I would have had to do a bunch more riveting and a bunch more painful work. So it would not have been great for the AK I was working on. It does seem like a really good product for anyone with a pedal style 5.56 AK who wants to convert it to take AR mags 
or at least it would be a good product if it was in stock. Uh, same goes for Texas AK. You can't get their little gizmo anymore either. There was actually one more company that I ended up finding while I was doing research, and that is the Canis Design Group. Uh, they sell a Magwell conversion kit for 5.56 AKs. The difference is, is that the standard one, the one that just plinks uh, right in and leaves your uh, standard like trigger guard and stuff in stock, that one is out of stock, but they appear to have two other ones, the um, M4 conversion with the AR grip style and the one with the AK grip style. I'm not entirely sure that might mean that it has the trigger guard integrated. They don't have a very good picture of it, and it does not hurt that they have a massive amount of documentation. By massive, I mean, you know, two PDFs that you can check out, but that's way more than anyone else, and it seems like they, you know, it, it might be about the same as the one that I did, just you'll have actual instructions. So uh, yeah, have fun with that, bye. Then I find this company called Schaefer Machining and they have this. And this is so easy, even an idiot like me could do it. Now, all you gotta do is you cut off, you cut off everything, you leave this bare and using either measurements or you can use the mag, insert the mag in here and base it off of that. Um, I did things with clamps and making sure everything was lined up and that things were still feeding no matter what you know when I was drilling the holes you drill four four holes four holes um, and a little bit extra There's a couple you gotta you're gonna have to do some custom work depending I mean if it's not this it's gonna maybe it's a different 5.56 AK you might have to do some work but you drill some holes and then all that happens is you put there's a screw here screw here a screw here, this is doop, doop, doop. The last one here, which actually is held in, there's a nylock nut, you gotta put in through here, hold in place with a wrench, and line up with this screw. It's very annoying, um, but in the end, you get this nice full metal uh, machined single piece, you know, like the, the trigger guards linked into it. Oh, oh, it's so pretty. I love, I'm so tactical now. Oh my god, I could just shit myself. Um, and it looks nice. It looks nice, and, oh wait, can't show that. You can't show that anymore because Susan, Susan says it's not, it's a big no-no. How many rounds are in this? Who knows, but Susan says it's a no-no. Thank you, Susan Wajikadik, for being such a massive I love Susan, I love everyone who works at YouTube. I definitely don't think that if you work at YouTube, you should that would be awful. There's so many wonderful people who work at YouTube and Google, and you definitely should not. Um, would I suggest buying a Schaefer machining metal magwell for your 5.56 AK? Yes, or I would if they were in stock anymore. Uh, apparently in the uh, 20 years it took me to get this finished, um, sorry about that, John, um, they sold out. I do not know if they're getting in stock. This is not sponsored by Schaefer Machining, but I would definitely say that if you want to do, <coughs> you want to make your 5.56 AK uh, a little bit more usable, though not entirely because for some reason polymer mags don't really like this. That might just be me. Um, might have just been the way that I did it, but uh, these work great. And I would definitely suggest that if you did do this, uh, and you're just using standard uh, steel or metal uh, AR mags, definitely. Because look, I mean, just look, it just, it looks like it's supposed to be there. Um, this thing shoots great now. It's one, uh, wonderful. Excuse me. Don't excuse me. I was, I was just choking, vomiting at the thought of Susan Wojcicki's Lucas's face. Um, took this out, dumped a bunch of rounds through it, and I mean, you couldn't do it beforehand, because if you fired more than one round, the vibration would cause um, the magazine to fall out of the plastic magwell instead of this wonderful metal. So if Schaefer has these in stock, go out and buy one. If you've got a set of calipers, and a drill, and a dremel, and uh, a, a metal scribe, and uh, what else did I use to make this? A wrench? 
get an, an Allen wrench. And, uh, you know, it actually, it would be a lot better if whichever one of these was the drill. Take that out, put it back in with the drill press. Because that would have made this... If my drill press was set up right now, I'm in the middle of... I'm in the middle of moving. Um, if my drill press was set up right now, it would have made this a million times easier. Um, and, oh, maybe some, like... Shit. Uh, some metal drill built, like, specifically for drilling through metal. Um, maybe a, maybe a, 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 a punch. Uh, it's easy. You don't need that many tools. Um, ignore what I just said. You'll figure it out. You'll, you're smart. You're a smart boy. You'll figure it out. Oh, no, it's counting up again. Um, quickly, before the video ends, uh, Schaefer Machining, Magwell, wonderful a piece of machinery uh, I love it and it's really cool that it was so easy to do they say you need a professional gunsmith and if an idiot like me who took like half a semester of machining can get it to go on here and be stable and work good you should be able to do it too champ uh, bye for now uh, <coughs> oh no I'm choking on my own phlegm and I swear I swear to God don't ask me if this is for sale it's not for sale it's gone someone already bought it every time I post picture or a video of guns that I've gotten everyone's like hey can, can I buy that from you I can't you can't sell guns on YouTube you can't advertise it this is already gone it's sold stop leaving comments asking to buy all the this is a wonderful gun but all the shitty guns I pick up don't don't ask about them okay shush shush your mouth no questions